<laughs> Me too. All right, uh, let's see here. Oh, let's, uh, Desiree, Desiree, you previously, you said you have personas. I do. Like Eminem, Slim Shady, Marshall <laughs> Mathers. What does that mean, personas? And hold on, I'll say it. You said it's a thing for us genius Black Jeez. ghetto slave souls inside sexy white bodies. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Riley, what hold, did hold you... it together, girl. Hold it together. I just meant that there is a white privilege that comes with looking this way. However, I was born in a very similar family to you with the psychopath dad and getting kidnapped and the whole situation. So... I felt that I had like extreme trauma. Like I literally would go try to talk to school counselors, police, counselors, everybody, friends, parents, everything. And it's like, they just looked at this pretty little white girl who does really good in school. And it was like, it wasn't computing. Okay, this is my question. So I what never does got ghetto help, have to literally. do with being black? Impoverished, impoverished. Not a, you have white trash. Most black, also ghetto. I, I was white trash. First of all, yes, most black trash, people are ghetto. Trash. But why do you cor- why is blackness parallel to ghetto? Yeah, like I, I'm trying to figure in that my, out. In my in my ideology, it ghetto is. can be in any Wait, community. That's not, but that's, why? That's, not cool. that's what I'm trying to because understand. What ghetto, ghetto can be in any community. I've seen more ghettos of white here than black. I was born into a yeah, racist family. Yeah. I've seen white talking. Oh, I've seen white talking shit about black, but then I saw the difference between the family. Like the black go to church, they raise their kids really nice, and then the white were Man, completely my trash. Brother's girlfriend. I'm just making a huge generality. I understand huge. that not everybody fits into the stereotype. It's got nothing to do with skin color. I'm just making a huge generality okay. based just on the excuses are so crazy. systemic racism based on my okay. upbringing. You could say I'm not saying it's right it's or like, wrong. I'm my trauma and this. And it's yeah. an excuse for the way that you act. Like, you know what I mean? There's always this, like I was I was raised in racism and trauma and this. Well, you it's all like, ask but you're me still what a grown up. Everybody you asked me what my body in this life has a trauma just from being born. You can answer without an excuse. Literally, I have been being asked what my thought process was. So I was just And you have not it. once taken no, accountability trauma. the entire night. No, you're trauma. What do you want what me to take so accountability just for? Just when someone tells you something, just be like, you know what, that was really wrong or that was messed up and I'm if sorry. If I don't believe there's That's anything it. wrong with it, I'm not going to apologize. There's... I literally... Because she's, she's a genius. Why do you want? She's a genius. Wait, like let's, people, so hold on. Let's go back to the you. words. Let's go back to the you're words you actually You're crazy? with the genius? So you said... You said, Desiree... you arguing with the genius. You said, Desiree, you said... It's a thing for, when it came to your different personas, it's a thing for us genius black ghetto slave souls inside sexy white bodies. <laughs> and that just tell me, <laughs> What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck does that even mean? As genius. Spirits inside of you? To you? How did you get that? She wrote, black ghetto slave done. souls? What are I think you've been with too many black guys. That's the problem. Their um, DNA stayed inside I'm of you, and you think you're black. Swirl, but what, what is this swirl about? <laughs> you have too much Did black DNA well, inside well, of you, so I you mean, think you're I black. I mean, I have a fat ass. I always have, like, since I was 11. Well, and yeah, I probably got funneled. Since you were 11? Since you were 11? My brother did. Oh, my God. I love you. time when it wasn't Since you were 11? So all the white guys didn't like me, the black guys. I can't, I can't. Black guys don't like ass? I have to ask you a question. Black guys like ass? Not like, not. 25 years ago, since you were 11, you had sex. Literally, my whole Baby family of white women were starving <laughs> themselves. I had horrible starving? eating disorders from the time I was like seven years old, <laughs> starving oh my, my ass off. Yes, it was a thing. Starving oh, your ass off. They only Wait. came back because of the Desiree, fucking Kardashians. I'm only three oh. years younger than you. Trust me. Like ass was in for a minute. <laughs> where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Yeah, but I didn't know that the style and the culture. What the I style. was, I believed that there was something wrong with back me. in 2007. It is. Yes. Like, it is. Damn. That's that's a fact. Right? What? What? Yeah. right, exactly. I literally grew up like with everybody being like worshiping me because I was a white girl with hats. Yeah, my self concept The Bush administration. Was, like, I was fat. Look at that. Let's vote. What are you talking about? Honestly, Brian, basically I, was, the I had body dysmorphic disorder. Basically, so the subtext bad. of what you're <laughs> saying. I had women of my family getting liposuction, like getting their asses sucked out. Basically, the subtext of what she's saying is. 
I've been with so many guys, so many black guys. <laughs> I'm over so many I'm years. overused myself <laughs> emotionally, sexually, vaginally, whatever you Vagina. say that word. Vagina. Right? Vaginally. <laughs> right? And I think Pretty you're sure so that, exhausted. <laughs> I would I would not talk okay. about you because what you do you bring in all the predators you, toward you. When you get out of here, all the black men and my white dad men and everybody when I was <laughs> raised by a predator. Oh, I was sex trafficked oh, okay. by my dad. So what? my dad raised me to be a sex worker. And, no. you and, you, and, and you become and you become the predator. <laughs> no, I became a okay. sex Do you have some minutes? I am a sex worker. And you know that? You know how you grew up? Why don't you change sex it? Workers, you have sorry. To I did change it. Sex I changed workers, it to doing sorry. OnlyFans so that I completely but control only fans my own. But OnlyFans not change it. It's making it worse. No, it's not. Only it's the fans, way that I'm making only something good out of my OnlyFans doesn't change it. OnlyFans okay. making it worse. Because OnlyFans legitimize you being uh, sexually abused over and over again. When you get money, you don't think you're being sexually abused, but you are. Because if you're not being sexually abused, you wouldn't feel comfortable. I I was way more fans. sexually abused being fucked by my husband that I couldn't stand inside my marriage. When I got He's out the of father my marriage, of your children. I don't talk like that on television. Sex. Respect <laughs> the father of your children. And I learned that respect the father of your children. We're just respect the father of your children. Respect, anyway, the, so father respect the father of your children. Respect the father of your children. No, for real. <laughs> Let's this call is the that. father. I, he's MIA right no. now. No, call that respect the father of your children. Maybe your children might be like that. That's not get him. That's not Miguel. No, that's like uh, Riley. Can't she just on. say I'm sorry? That Miguel. was a racist comment, and I Wait. shouldn't have said that. I take it, you know. Well, I'd like to I'm give it to sorry, sorry to the white women that I was. Okay. I forgot what I said, but I'm sorry. That we need to stand up Wait, for what we it. believe in. That's what you said. I just. Oh, okay. Wait, and you didn't you say, say it like she said. Oh, I didn't hear that. Okay. I'm just trying to understand also, what the slave I do, souls is. I do want to point out that Desiree dropped to the hard R. What did I say? When? Desiree What's the hard, the hard R? Is it when? retarded? Wait, like no. the act don't, don't say the word, Desiree. Don't, I don't say know. the word. Hard Wait, hard what? Hard the N word, but you did the hard R. What don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. So what is it? Explain to me. I don't I know. I have a potty no, mouth. I'm sorry. What is hard R? That's not. Do you know C-D- the oh my gosh. word? Yes. Don't say it. Don't I'm not going to say it. No one's going to say it. Hard R. So you can end it with a. I can't. I shouldn't even be explaining No, there's like There's like a way to say it. Riley, the yeah. way so like, she said it earlier. Like, <laughs> yeah, understand. Black people say it amongst it. each yeah, other yeah, with yeah, the yeah. A at the end, but like, White slave masters used yeah, yeah. to say it yes, with yes, the yes, ER. Yes, yes, so yes. we say it to each other as like a term of endearment. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. Mm-hmm. Black person. But like, when people you say, say the hard R, it's like, you don't I'm say that you, I get away with this shit. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's why I have gotten away with this up until 38. Why the fuck do you think I'm Because one day, three guys can take you in the street and rape you. enough of the times that I don't give a shit. So you're not part of the way. Obviously, you don't you give a shit about yourself. That's uh, what you're baby. Like that. Girl. Obviously, culture. you don't give Shout a shit about yourself. Shout out to the baby girl. Giovanni J. He donated $100. Yeah, no, I, I might grew up in a literal crack house of whites until I was adopted by a black woman at 13. Aye, aye, aye. I still acknowledge no part of me is black or has black experiences. Desiree, you're not black. No. Are, should you, should wait, I whip out the ass? Since the 60s. No, let's oh, just shut up. Please, please do. Can you stop thinking about your ass? I don't know where the fuck it came from then, if not black. <laughs> okay, so hold on. So, wait, Desiree, do you consider yourself... Wow. Oh no, I just I am simply, She thinks she's pretty she enough to black say guys word. like her because mm. she has a big butt and she yeah. don't. Yeah. I oh, just do. I find resonance okay. with the culture. That's okay. What I'm with I vibe culture. with the guys. I hope you're not gonna put I a wig next with week. Black guys you a probably lot of shouldn't the time. say this in a room with no, black people present. I'm just No dude, say it right now. Not at all. No, this is what I think it's not. No, you don't do it with your white people. Your attitude is the most ghetto I've seen. More than any black girl. Questions. No, I would have asked it up if it wasn't brought to my attention to speak on. Just because you you feel like you have some close proximity to blackness Listen, does not, do you not give you the right to say that. Can Listen. you not just let someone talk? Let her finish. This was never supposed to be an exploited out in public conversation. Okay. The the but man. But didn't you say it? Can you pull it up when she said it? Is it is it like it's on, a, was a on private a message? A private message between us that I never knew was gonna get blasted out there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, why, exactly. why? Wait a minute. Exactly. Don't why say why the right there. Right there. 
tired like because that. that's, that's, that's the problem I have. That's the problem I have with people like you because you say it in private and then you think, oh, well, the I wasn't going to see it. Yeah, like mm-hmm. I, I didn't mean to say it publicly. I said it to him Even in worse. message. So is do you say this to your other <laughs> friends that aren't black? Like I'm confused. Yeah. Do black people give you a My pass to say it? Or, yes, that. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody yes. gives a shit. Oh my god! I just want my son. I just want to get a bitch shit out of you. I don't know if it's because like, I'm old. I, like I'm like, so up from the day I'm when so it so didn't. Did you guys? Did shit. you guys see that white girl on TikTok that got went viral for saying the N word and then her job let her go? She said it with the A and she didn't say it with the E R. I just hope still. I just hope you're not gonna be in the night lonely in some corner, and some black girl's gonna corner you and beat the shit out of you. That's what I hope. <laughs> okay. I just feel like you, you. It's it's not even just black people. Like it's it's just offensive to to even want to say the word. Like why would you? Like nobody else seems to care about power. the word. I don't get why that. Why do you say the word? So unfortunately, because it's fucking words. Unfortunately, that's why you're saying the H word. Unfortunately, okay, okay. Unfortunately, you're proving the C word. You're proving the point. You're proving the point. You're proving the point. You're proving the point that the majority of black women who go with black men, it's low level white women. It's not high level white woman they're going with black men Hold on, and unfortunately yeah, you, are, you are you are you are that point. am i right not, or am i wrong no we were, we i don't feel like that because my my it's brother like he his girlfriend she's so sweet like she's oh, no, white and, and like wait, she's the wrong. sweetest person i've ever met she doesn't treat him like she never says the n-word like there it's never been that and if he, they're treating him like crap or like talking crap to him it's because he's a fuck boy you know my brother's a fuck boy he deserves to be shitted on by these women because he treats them like trash so it's fair but they it never comes about to where they get to say the n-word with an er at the end like i've never maybe heard my white any of my maybe my white privilege even like i what said what privilege yeah. am i what privilege you got so embarrassing oh my God. all the other I'm white women that i'm friends with it's that a waste of never oh say it because you're Literally. so dumb and flat. I'm giving you my life experience. I don't know what to tell you. I've made experience. it this far. Obviously. It's just so I'm dumb. No, but where have you made it though? To you only be able to say oh. the N word. I mean, where have you made it? Are you married? That's I'm like this 19 year, year old girl here. I literally am able. This 19 year old girl here, way smarter than you. I'm so I, I'm embarrassed for you. You could be her mother, and she can school you with her brain, and you're just this so stupid, so and you think you're a genius. Bro. To me, it's embarrassing for you. I've never met anybody who more stupid than you in my life, and you call yourself a genius. This 19-year-old girl, 100 times more smart than you, and you have the audacity to sit here and try to think you're schooling other women. Just shut your mouth. You're Thank so you. dumb. Period. Uh, Be- well, yeah. uh, it's annoying to my ears. I just, I just think it's crazy to say you've made it this far because what yeah, are the I'm accomplishments that you have? Have you graduated like yeah. college? Do you have a real, you know, yeah. are you married? I've been married twice. But are you married? Makes sense. Are you in a current relationship? Why are you asking? Because I'm just saying that you made it this far. Well, I'm just saying. You're only be doing OnlyFans. Getting married? Yes. It's not that great. It's a lot of fucking work. Yes. Maybe depending on the men you choose. Yeah. Being being married is great. I have a graduate degree in counseling ministry. I just want to say. Let me just finish what I'm saying. Psychology. I know you love to talk. You love to talk. No one just is easy. I can never say anything to her, but I will just say it. When you say you made it that far, but you made it onto OnlyFans and your head in a toilet while some guy. Oh, the, she's getting the does that that's just not oh, making it that far i'm never gonna read that's that medicine. Just be careful, right? Shit. and this Shit. is this is what Shit. i'm talking about it costs right. well, you, you, can, you can i was so fucked up by your exact ideology it kept me a fucking slave for 20 goddamn years of my life and i fucking made something out of myself after i left that shit so fuck you what did you make? You're Isn't that crazy how she asked? Fucking no, bitch. I want, Why I want. is it that I was I've... you? I was counseling your fucking type and your no, miserable never. type. Never. And I left that shit and I started having orgasms. And now I love my <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Unstable. Fuck. I will never and F you. I will never F have you. My fucking son Baby living girl. in my goddamn house. I will never f you. I will never f you. I will never f you. You're gonna lose your voice. I will never f you. I will never f you. I will never f you. Did you put that in your book? I will never f you. It's your shit. Where's the book, by the way? I'm. I'm. No, I know. I'm so. Riley, did you write that in your book? Honey, that that's not a fifty. That's not a fifty thousand dollar book. Um. 
Uh, <laughs> we're sorry. Uh, it's a self-published yeah. book. No. You have no. worth it. You have no. Let me just, no, let me just say yet? this. Huh. Everybody yeah. has prejudices. Well, They're going to say racist stuff. Everybody out. does it. It's an American thing. What? It's just... Wait, what? what? Sorry. Like everyone I said, knows, everyone so. has prejudices, and they're going to say racist stuff. Everybody, once they get educated and they understand, okay, if this affects a group of people, you usually apologize for it. Yeah, or that's what I was you just say. explain you, yourself. But you if do you not. Know, she, she just you know, she screamed. She going off wrong. on everybody. I think you should at least I respect. don't believe it's wrong. Okay. Angry also, just, just by you yelling and screaming and all of us stop talking to you, it's not that we're scared. It's not that no, we're you're intimidating. You're not intimidating. It's, it's, Listen to her. It's, it's the fact that we can't reason with you. Exactly. You, you your That's instinct. No, no. Your instinct is to <laughs> interrupt. Your instinct is, oh, I'm this pretty. I can talk whoever I want. No, you're not. No one is that pretty that can talk whenever they want. Exactly. No one. You have to give everyone exactly. the respect that you want. If exactly. you want to be heard, sure. you have to just shut up you when people are scream. talking. You really what the point of the show is, right? Uh, is to now not you, make it's just to is, monetize drama. No, it's to it's take to accountability. That's why you show your ass on a 19 year old. The point of the show at all. You, to Literally, get your point across, you don't have to scream at the top of your bloody lungs. Or no, it's not. Actually, no, it's not. Actually, actually, no, it's not. Or, or it's offering me to ask her. Literally, bro. It's not. I'm telling you, guys are boring. You're repeating ideas that you literally learned from your parents. What do you think we're listening to you? You're doing the same thing. At least I have original fucking thought, bitch. No. You don't. don't. Yes, I You're do. like any other cookie cutter. Don't even. Oh, oh, girl. Cookie cutter? Have you ever? A fucking bitch. Like no, you actually worked. Yes, I had the worst. I know like you're, you're actually like, worse. You're exactly. You're worse. I'm fucking original. Sorry to raise my voice. Honestly, that was unmade. Like. Screaming psycho against the one Christian at the table. Hmm. Not a coincidence. <laughs> the demonic manifestation is real. Oh, you guys don't believe That's me? literally the same you. guy. Hi, Andrew. Andrew that called you a spitting demonic possessed girl. If you're not paying That's attention to the fucking. Well, that is literally Andrew because I know his fucking psychology. That's Giovanni. Don't. No. It's Andrew. That's. <laughs> what? No one's calling and me actually, possessed. And actually, and actually, and actually, you are right. We or never met anybody. Minion. Anytime I who's, talk to you, who's you just not a good nuts. looking like you, dumb as you, that think that she's a genius. I've never met any any phenomenal like that. Well, the U.S. military tested me, you bitch, fa- so maybe you are phenomenal. Your taxes, you then. are phenomenal because <laughs> wait, you're wait, so wait. dumb oh, wait, that you think you're a genius. Yeah, that's where I got tested. Wait, okay, so you said that your story when it came to the military is you went in as a four. Uh, what so I went in, I enlisted as an E4, which is basically right. I had my college degree. Wait, but you said they were going to fast track. I know. Like, wait, chat. They any, wanted me hold on, to hold on, go wait, in wait, as stop, an stop, officer stop, and be on. a combat surgeon. Hold on. I said wait. no. Combat surgeon. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Liar. Chat. So any military people who are watching, maybe you can like You help don't guide feed us. the pattern. Hold on, hold on. So you said that the military was going to fast track you due to your test scores? Because of yes, all of that, and because I had a college degree. So when you go and when <laughs> military you go and doesn't in give military, a damn about college degree. Yes, but I come does. from a military country, does. honey. In my country, we obligated well, to in do America, the army. When you have a listen college to me, degree, you can listen to me. All the way from Michigan. I come from a country that a woman obligated to do the army for so two years. To you don't feed wait. By you a don't feed the pattern of an army, okay. and I'll tell you why. Because in the army, the first thing they check it's your mental capacity under pressure. You don't have any mental capacity under pressure so don't bullshit me please. I hate to break it to you but your type wouldn't you don't make need, it. You, do, you don't or need to break me anything. You <laughs> literally wouldn't you're make dumb. it in the military. You are dumb. Oh, what the you hell? are dumb. You're, you're not good wasn't. looking. You're stupid. Hey, hey, be <laughs> nice. Be nice. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, so, shots hold on. fired. Oh my God. God. Really, quick. Me, really quick. Really quick. So okay, Desiree, yeah. if there's any people in the military watching, she says that they were going to fast track her to combat surgeons. CIA because agent. I was entering as a college graduate. She said, but, no, she's a genius. I had multiple people after you said that who are in the military reach out to me. This was in 2009. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They said now. that that's like impossible. It's not impossible. Somebody it's impossible. Somebody it's Brian, Brian, you, you want to see how I, how I it's not get her impossible. as a liar, why she's lying? Because in the army, okay, the first thing they do, they give you all these IQ tests, a lot of like psychological mm-hmm. tests. Somebody who had a lot of body count obviously cannot restrain. Restrain. Wait, restrain, wait. restrain 
their impulse. And in the army, as an agent, like you say, whatever, CI, whatever you say, you cannot restrain yourself because you cannot control yourself, not yeah. sexually, not mm -hmm. mentally. So how are they going to take you to a, a high level uh, uh, job in the army? With what? You can laugh all you want. You can maybe tell oh. the same story for 20 years so people believe your lie because when you tell a lie for that. so long, it's become the truth and you are the only one that believed that. I but literally brought front the of military idea. You are dumb, sweetie. You I are dumb we and crazy. Back. That's why you're in this show because you are dumb. You are the entertainment of the show. It? Wake up. Okay. So anybody in the military, I mean, you can DM me. I, I don't know if anybody can DM me. Tell me what the, the whole uh, situation is. Uh, but apparently, peop multiple people DM'd me after that and said it's basically, what's that word uh, when you're like claiming military? Stolen like, valor. Stolen valor, sort of. Because there, yeah. they're saying like, that's not possible. You're not going to fast track to becoming a combat surgeon. <laughs> I'm Sorry, gonna try to find it. You cannot go like in as a doctor. An E4. She's He's definite. current active duty USAF. She's lying. I even worked in commissioning I'm officers. Um, so Shirley and Riley, unfortunately, have to uh, <laughs> Sorry, leave. <Jim. laughs> but unless you want to stay a little bit, you're welcome to stay. Uh, we uh, have to get back. That's where we'll, we'll get you back on the show uh, some delusional. other time. Shirley, it's pleasure having delusional. you. I love your dog uh, can too. You, um, do Hi. like the. Uh, we can you do the Lion King? Like Lion hold up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. You ready? Guys and girls, please warn the men you know not to get vasectomies. It's actually a scam She's that so destroys cute. their oh health God. within a few a years. He has a penis. Doctors won't a, warn them. Oh my you God. Must, it it's a trap. Okay. Douglas like Fur, uh, thank you for the uh, TTS, man. So Appreciate it. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, well, yeah, Shirley, thank you. Uh, unless there's anything, I don't know if there's anything else we can do with you. Follow us on Instagram. Yes, follow us on Instagram. You guys were dope. Thank you guys for coming. Oh, um, hey, nice talk with y'all. Nice love you. love you. You'll take the re you'll take this. We finished? The what? No, just, uh, there just us two. Go. At Officially um, Riley with two E's. Oh, love y'all. Maybe after. <laughs> after. <laughs> really? No, I want to say something like, before I leave because I have to leave soon. Yeah. Well, no, you stay. You got to stay. So We're, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to say that I'm so proud and happy for my mentor, Bruce Cardina, that he's oh. the bodyguard of the Kardashian. I love him. He's mentoring okay. me, and because mm. of him, I come a long way, and I love you, Bruce. You're oh. the best mentor oh. ever. Thank That's you. So sweet. That's sweet. Wow. Dope. All right, Shirley, thanks for coming. Thanks. Riley, thanks for coming. We're going to have Madison and Morgan. Go ahead. Is Man, she, she, she no, takes the worst times to. All right. I hate when that happens. Uh, yeah, you guys can just. Uh, Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you for those tweets. Thank I want to go you. eat. Uh, we're going to get Morgan and Madison to take the seats here. Bye. So. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. Follow me. Thank you for coming. All right. We have Morgan joining the fray. Welcome, hey Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. So beautiful. Morgan. Morgan, why don't you introduce yourself self for the viewers? Okay. I'm Morgan. I'm 18, and I go to Santa Barbara City College majoring in political science. Wow. Word. Ooh, nice. Good times. Good times. Okay. And then... Maddie. Coming. Maddie's coming. She'll do her thing. Let's see. Um, oh, going to you, Vic, mm -hmm. you had a... I don't know if you had... I couldn't really tell from the TikTok. You've got your TikTok, right? Mm -hmm. So do you have an issue with age gap relationships or... I... Yeah, I do think age gap relationships are pretty sus. Um, okay. Obviously, I don't think that people... You should be able to police age gap relationships beyond, obviously, like child-adult relationships. But... I, th I think that they're worthy of judgment. They're worthy of judgment? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? What does that mean? Worthy of Relationships where there's like a large no, disparity. No, I just understand what is worthy of judgment mean. Oh, like that. <coughs> Jimmy donated $100. It's confirmed the psycho has a dumpy. Brian Ika, you can sit there and let the crazy IT flirt with you to try to trick you into putting a baby into her. It's their whole month. I have a copper IUD. Run for the hills, son. I already have three kids. No babies. No babies. Oh Brian knows how to pull Brian out. He's 35, it. for God's sake. And I have a copper IUD. Those copper IUDs. 
Okay, mm. thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I s- Women's <laughs> lips, right? Oh. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we now have non-hormonal birth control. <laughs> oh, I love Andrew. Okay, uh, so go ahead with the age gap. So um, what I was explaining what judgment meant or whatever. Worthy of judgment. Yeah, worthy of judgment. Because um, I, I think it's very suspect and, and it's telling um, of a person's mental state or like character when they participate in um, a large age gap yeah. relationship, especially with a much younger person. So wait, just before we get into the age gap stuff, just because mm-hmm. we brought up the whole like fast track to combat surgeon thing, I'm going to read a couple messages I received. <laughs> uh, f- we have a message. These are all military guys. The blonde chick is, wait, she she can fast track to officer joining with a college degree. However, fast tracking to surgeon is fucking crazy. That's the delusional part. She they needs. Could have, they could have been lying. Shh, I will it. say that people did tell she me that maybe her, they were just telling me that. She needs her medical that. degree and surgeon license, right. basically passing the surgeon right, board. Right. So I was going to be a medic first. Mm. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh and this God. is so he. This is the guy. He said he served four years as a medic in the military. We have another one. She's full of shit. I went in for six years, so I got autumn automatically E4, no degree, just a dumb high school kid. Women do not serve as combat medics, by the way, and we're not allowed into that role until, and we're not allowed into that role until 2016. Well, yeah, this was back in 2009. Right, but he said it wasn't allowed. Okay, okay well, right. again, it's possible that they were lying to me, and I did have several people. Like, they didn't lie in, to you, you lied to they yourself. They were saying that the recruiters get paid, obviously, and that they might uh-huh. have been telling me certain things so that Wait, I would Wait, did you actually, it. were you in the military? So no, I enlisted, and I swore in oh, and the whole thing, but lying. back then there was a <laughs> wait course. period between when you would enlist and sign in. Like, I did literally did the swear in. No, the they basic? made us. They were making us wait four months before we were getting shipped oh out. This was when God. the economy crashed. So there was, was tons dream? of people trying to get in the military. You no told job. yourself this story did for so many basic? years. It you believe in it, actually. Bitch, whatever. Did you, go what the, you want. did you go to basic? So I got pregnant and I couldn't go to basic. I had to get oh a military. I had to get a discharge. discharge. Okay. Yeah. I have another thing. We actually believe. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, he also says, I'm a 12-year Army vet. She's a liar. The Army will never fast-track you to be a, com- quote, combat surgeon. Number one, she is not even a surgeon. The Army doesn't train surgeons anyway. Exactly. Yeah, you would exactly. have to go to med school. The exactly. Army will either pay for that you. or, exactly. or exactly. you were already a doctor. That's what, they were telling me. That's what they were telling me they were going to do. Hold on. She can go to OCS, officer candidate school, with a degree, but going yes. in as an E4, no. Fast-track, no. I scored a 95 on the ASVAB. Is that what it's called? Uh, ASVAB, uh, almost perfect, and there's no fast track, just different jobs that are open to you. As a different guy, as a USMC veteran, I can show what a veteran, hold on, uh, she never made it through MEPS, M E P S. She carries around a fucking ID that grants her no fucking respect or recognition. As a USM- USMC, United States Marine Corps veteran, I can show what a veteran's ID looks like and what it looks like on a regular driver's, driver's license as a veteran. Isabella says you can join as an officer if you have a bachelor degree, but what she's saying is not true. She's been in four years. Uh, okay. Can I respond? Mm, hold on. One sec. I'm just trying to read some of these other ones. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, he, this guy, Billiam. This oh, this is Billiam the Mars. He's in the. Uh, I'm in the Marine Corps. Stolen valor, scumbag. <coughs> you can't enlist as an E4. An E4 is not an officer rank. It's an enlisted, non-commissioned officer rank. I know. That's what rank. I'm saying is I, I denied officer ranking to enter as an E4 because I did not feel I had earned officer status before I had done my time. So I purposely said, no, I won't be an officer. And then last one from uh, Austin. I just got the Marine Corps as an E5 sergeant recruiter. There's no possible way she would enter as an E4 and be fast-tracked to officer. There's programs you have to go through to go from enlisted to officer. You can Google Army enlisted to officer. A combat surgeon is mandated to be an officer with a specialized degree. Okay. I want to ask you a question, you. Okay. Do you really think, sorry, do you really think that somebody with that short of a temperament can even be considered on a high level uh, uh, army position, somebody who, who cannot wrap their thoughts together or control their impulse by going and taking care of people, you know? I don't know. Army people, army people are, are 
very specific, you know, with their mentality, mm -hmm. with how they think, with how they act, with how they react, especially. And you calling yourself a genius because I think I feel sorry for you, but I think you told this story to yourself for so many years. You lied to yourself and probably said to every guy that you met and been proud on this fictionary story. So you're just saying it naturally because really you believe in it because you're delusional. Mm -hmm. And now you sit here and he's telling the crowd from the army to actually give facts. And I'm telling you stuff. And you sit in there still pretending and believing this lie, you know. And I feel really, really sorry for you mm -hmm. because you don't have any leverage or any high level. It's just like lazy people who wants to be a millionaire and they're miserable on, on millionaire mm -hmm. who actually climbed the ladder. You're like a person with no qualification, no talent, no brain know nothing, and you tell this fictionary story, try to represent it to everybody you know, and you have the audacity to come here on a very popular podcast yes. telling this lie and literally think we're dead dumb to believe this. It's crazy. You can yawn all you want, mm, so but you just make yourself look stupid, liar, dumb, delusional. I don't know how you live with yourself. No. Mm. How, how do you live with yourself? How? Why? Same way that everybody else does. I oh, okay. sleep eight hours a day. And, you know, I eat my veggies. I take my vitamins. I it's not. It's not gonna help. Not your veggie, health, not vitamins. You need psychiatry. Bills, Still not I help. Pills. Talk to my okay. friends. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, back to the age gap conversation. 